Hey everyone, so it's time for my Young Justice review. So now I have to go, and I'm gonna go to Reading Buddies, get my haircut, and then I'll be back to finish this video. So, see you soon. Yay! Hey guys, I'm back, and I got my haircut short. So give me a thumbs up if you like my haircut. So first things first, they give us a bit of the last episode of season one, and then they go right to Clayface, as I have written down here, and. First things first, the, we now have Tim Drake in the series. We've also got Beast Boy, Blue Beetle, and we got uh, Wonder Girl, Batgirl, and two other characters I don't know the names of. And Miss Martian has new hair now, and Dick Grayson is now Nightwing. And yeah, and what's really sad, there's no more Super Martian. This is the worst thing ever, because they were just... <laughs> Super Martian was just so cute. Why'd they have to do this to me? Why? Anyway, I'm gonna try and continue. Um, we have Lobo here. Um, and then we had Wonder Girl and Batgirl fighting him, which was pretty epic. It was like girl power. And I was like, the whole time I'm like, where's Artemis? Where's Wally? Where's Calder? What happened to them? Is Wally now the Flash? Did Artemis become Tigress? And just what happened to Calder? Or are they just not in the first episode? Um, and then G. Gordon. I don't trust him at all. There seems to be something not right with him. And so Zatanna and Rocket are now part of the Justice League, but Dick, McGann, and Connor aren't. And so in the Watchtower, they had part of the original team, you know, part of the original eight, you know, Rocket, Zatanna, um, they had Superboy, McGann, and Dick Grayson all there, but they didn't have Artemis, Wally, or Calder. And the six leaguers that went missing during the 16 hours, they were doing crime in outer space. And now they've got Dick being the team leader for the Young Justice team. And I don't know what the name of the fish guy is, but he's kind of weird. And we saw Blue Beetle talking to himself, like himself, but really he was just talking to like the scrub that is part of him now that acts as his bodysuit. He was talking with that. And the fish dude thing, he can transform into a monster thing. And Tim Drake... Um, the fish dude and blue beetle, they get caught, and then they, and then I went to a commercial, and they have this really funny superhero short that I really liked, and apparently blue beetle's scarab thing can understand the aliens and allow him to speak the language, so, and then they saved the abductees, but the people were scared of them and thought that, well, they were scared of blue beetle and the fish dude, and they thought they were aliens, and... Uh, Fish Dude thinks that Blue Beetle is odd, but I don't think he is. I like him. Then there was a huge explosion, and the League came to visit them after they finished their mission, and Dick Grayson told was like, good way to get your feet wet, and I was like, awesomeness, sort of. I'm kind of upset that they don't have Dick Grayson being Robin anymore. And then they had the Beta Squad go to Ron, I believe that's... And that's pretty much what happened in the episode. And I'm just really upset by McGann's new haircut. And that Dick Grayson is no longer Robin. I wish that they kept it in the same year. I was scared of this. But I'm still going to watch this show because hopefully they'll still have Wally and Artemis, right? Like, they can't do one season sur surrounded by the six characters and then a whole different season surrounded by a whole different group of people that because it's not it's not a good idea to confuse us so I'm really mad at the writers right now because like with the first season I know there were episodes that were upset and many of the people in the Young Justice fandom but like with me I'm normally good with change Especially in TV shows. I have this, like, understanding that I can't choose what happens in the show. I can predict it, but I know that it might not happen. 
yet this episode upset me so much that it just upset me so much and that doesn't happen much with, especially with TV shows there are hardly ever there, like for shows that I like to watch there's hardly ever going to be an episode that upsets me as much as this one did it's five years later who knows what happened to Wally who knows what happened to Artemis who knows what happened to Calder I don't I only just got into superheroes like around the end of 2011 I don't know much, yet I became so obsessed so fast and, like, I don't know what happened to them. I don't want Artemis to not be part of the, the team anymore. I want her to still be there. I'm just hoping that she didn't, like, go off and become Tigress or anything, because that would be the worst thing for me. And I just hope that Wally is still out there somewhere. I hope that Barry Allen didn't disappear yet. It would be like the worst case scenario for me. Like I do enjoy Impulse, but I don't want I don't want Wally West and Artemis to not be together anymore. Spitfire was my favorite pairing. It was the cutest thing ever. And I liked Super Martian too. And I'm starting to think maybe they'll still have Dick and Zatanna together. Maybe. I hope so. But I'm not sure about Rocket and Calder. This is just like the worst thing ever. Post in the comments if you were this upset over this episode too. And tell me if you would like me to discuss anything more on Wednesday. Like if there's any topics that you would like me to discuss more on Wednesday, let me know and I will. But yeah, so subscribe above McGann's head. Go to my channel page above Artemis's head and you can see what I'm doing every day. And yeah. And leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Bye bye Rainbow Cloud Believers.